the world is up in flames and the world up in flames has taught me that I have no choice but to be okay with myself or else life is gonna be a heck of a lot harder. I've been vibing, staying in the house. What's good everybody? Reality here. Hope you all are doing well. The last time that we spoke, I was talking about how the state of the world has taught me to take a step back and relax. And along with that, it has also taught me a lot about finding inner peace and how important that can be during a time like this. I feel like finding inner peace can be a lifelong process. It's not something that you just find overnight people don't really have a choice but to be with themselves right now people have been faced and forced to face the hard questions that they normally just brush off and you know suppress in the back of their mind but now they don't have a choice so i think it's really important to be able to confront those to acknowledge the effect that they've had on your life but also to learn from them and to be okay with the person that you are but there there are so many different layers to finding inner peace it's being okay with yourself, which I believe is the most important. Crime never sleeps, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> or is that a fire? There are a lot of layers to- Fucking flies, man. There are a lot of layers to having inner peace. It is being okay with yourself, being okay with others, and being okay with your surroundings. So let me dissect the first one, being okay with yourself. At the end of the day, when you lay your head on your pillow and you're going to sleep, that's usually when the thoughts that we don't want to think about, they come up and we're just, we're just laying there thinking. The most important thing and the best thing that you can do for yourself is to be okay with the person that you are. To be okay with the decisions that you've made and you know, realize you can't do anything about the past past is done can't really do anything about the future you can make good decisions to set yourself up for the future what I like to say is you like to have you, you think that you're in control and you have it figured out and then life just laughs at you and says nah and throws you a curveball you know all we really got is right now this very moment this today this this moment right here it is all we know and the only thing that we can do anything about so if right now you can learn to be okay with yourself it's, it's gonna help you out in the long run let me say this right now if you can learn to be okay with yourself during the storm then you will be much happier when the sun comes out here are some ways that i've managed to do that a big thing that has helped is stepping away from social media which i will go into in a whole different video but social media can be such a toxic disgusting thing that just ruins your day man like just literally you could you could be in a jolly mood be happy whatever having a great day and then you read some idiot's tweet or some stupid ass person had something dumb to say and your whole root mood is ruined your whole root is mooing your whole mood is ruined man and that sucks the world that exists in our phone doesn't exist it's not real none of it is real look look around you man these these trees, the birds, the plants, all of that is real. None of this in your phone, none of it is real. And oftentimes I think we are too invested in what is in our phone. Another thing that I talked about in the last video that has helped me a lot is not overworking myself when I know I deserve some rest. Being able to just lay down and unwind and you know take some deep breaths and enjoy some time to myself that has done wonders for my inner peace. Literally just like laying here, sitting here in my backyard, looking around at the trees, feeling the breeze, bars. It helps a lot, man. Another thing, nature. For the 4th of July weekend, I went away to Michigan. We went to a little cottage next to the lake, having a bonfire going, grilling some burgers, and just sitting down and watching the sunset. Nature is such a natural remedy that we take for granted. Another step is being okay with others. You have to understand early on that you have no control in what people think, what people say, and how people act. You don't have any control over any of that. And if you can accept that, it's gonna benefit you in the long run. There's this one person in my life. This person never has anything nice to say on social media. The kind of person that enjoys 
seeing others doing bad. As much as I do not agree with the way this person lives their life, I can't control anything. I can't control what they believe. I can't control what they say, or I can't control how they act towards others. I have to find peace in just letting them exist the way that they may and keeping them at a healthy distance. Once you realize that you, you, you don't you don't get to say what others can or can't do or can or can't say. You can't decide any of that. The sooner you realize that, it'll be easier to let it go whenever they do or say stupid shit. People will always say stupid shit. You let it get to you, you're not gonna have a good time. And that's another thing about social media is just seeing people say stupid shit all the time. And that can really affect you, but like I said, topic for another day and the last thing about finding inner peace is being okay with your surroundings which that one right now is probably one of the toughest ones because the world is up in flames and the world up in flames has taught me that I have no choice but to be okay with myself or else life is gonna be a heck of a lot harder we don't have any control over what's going on right now what is with all these fucking bugs bothering me right now, man? Bugs be on some fucking bullshit. If you can accept that you don't have any control over what's happening right now, let alone from the global crisis, whatever you may be going through, say you're going through something very difficult in your life. Most of the time, it's something that we can, like we directly, individually cannot control. Like I individually cannot stop this pain or this suffering or this thing from happening, like most of the time, that's the case. That you on an individual basis cannot stop what's going on. All you can do is do your part to make things better. You can't stop it, but you, all you can do is do your part. And right now that's all any of us can do, man. So if you learn to just be okay with your surroundings, even if the world is up in flames, then you move a little more graciously through it, man. Surrendering that power has helped me find peace because it's like it's like a constant like if you if you if you don't surrender that power to things that you have no control over it's like a constant battle not only with yourself mainly with yourself but with the outside world that it's a battle that you're never gonna win you're never gonna win that battle you're always gonna you're gonna spend your life fighting a fight you can't win so if you give up that control and just kind of let it happen and let the world heal when it will you'll find it easier to manage day-to-day -day life it won't be as hard because you'll realize you know what it sucks but I can't do anything about it so why why stress myself over something that I literally cannot do anything about I can't do anything about any of this so why am I gonna beat myself up and lose sleep over it. It doesn't make any sense. Since this is the best that I can do and I literally physically cannot do anything more, I gotta be okay with the cards that I'm dealt with. You could complain, why, why does this happen to me? Why, why is this happening? Those are questions you're never gonna have the answer to, man. You're never gonna have answers to those questions. Just accept that you can't find those answers. If you can't find an answer, make your own resolution. I'm 22 right now. A homie that lived across the street from me, literally like, if I got up right now and I walked over to his house, I could be there in 30 seconds. He passed away last summer of some horrible sickness. I don't know exactly what it was. Some horrible sickness, passed away. In my Nobody Else music video, there was a kid that I dapped up in the supermarket. That became my homie. I met him through that video. That was the day that I met him. And anytime I would go to that supermarket, because it's five minutes from my house, I would say what's up to him, we would talk. He passed away too. I don't, I don't know how. I don't want to know how. He was like 15 or 16, man. Younger than me. Those things hurt, man. Those things, those things really, really hurt. But those are things that I have no control over, man. Do I do I wish that I could go to the supermarket and see my homie again? Of course. Of course I wish that, man. I it it was it's like a little like a little spark of happiness I would get whenever I whenever I saw him there, man. I would get excited to see him. And one day he just he wasn't there anymore. I didn't know why, I thought maybe he got a different job or maybe he's not scheduled or I don't know. I don't know, but I, I, I found out that he passed away.
and I wish more than anything that I could still see him there. But that's nothing that I can that's something that I can't do anything about. That's something that I can't do anything about. If I hadn't accepted that, that that's something that I couldn't do anything about, I would sob and cry and be like, why, why, why did this happen to him? Why this, why that? Man, who's gonna answer that for me? Nobody. Nobody, I could scream at the sky as much as I want, but I have found peace in that because I can't do anything about it. That surrendering of the control has helped me find peace because there are some things that are outside of my control and I'm not gonna stress myself over things that I can't do anything about. So I will leave it off at this, man. I'll leave, I'll leave it at this. If you're watching this right now, it's a good day, period. Doesn't matter what else is going on, man. There are some people that don't have that privilege of being here right now to experience another day. We may be going through a crisis, but the fact that you are alive during a crisis is a blessing. Not the crisis part, the being alive part. Appreciate that. Appreciate that you're alive right now. Be thankful that you're alive and that you've got another day and another chance to make shit better. I think I'm gonna leave it off at that, man. Thank you all so very much for watching. I'm not on social media right now, but if you would like to follow me there on Instagram and Twitter and TikTok, it is official reality. All my music is available on every streaming platform. Link is down below. Until next time, be happy, be safe, take care of yourself. See ya. My facial hair is growing out and there's a hole inside my sock. Really ain't been going out. Rather cool inside the crib. My thumb is cramping up from playing my Nintendo.